Well, uh, good time then to talk about a couple of key points where, uh, you know, in our special segment, Inside Edge, we have, we are going to be discussing Dr. Lal Path Labs. It was a weak quarterly performance from Dr. Lal's, but the stock is buzzing in trade on the back of optimistic commentary from the management. So, for example, the company did say that it is difficult to pull back on costs. They are, however, entering FI24 on a positive note. They have indicated that the competitive intensity that they are seeing within the pathology space has now reduced. They took a price hike in Feb for the first time. They did not see much resistance on price increases. The revenue per patient has been aided by bundled packages as well as mixed uh, product mix changes at this point in time. And high-end testing has aided the revenue per patient, which has increased this quarter. Now, volume growth will be in the range of 8 to 9%. Uh, 8 to 9%. Bundle test is much more efficient, according to them, going forward. They expect FI24 margins to be around 25%. Kotak says valuations remain elevated. They have retained their sell. They've reduced their target price to 1525. They say that there is increasing sanity and diagnostics pricing, which is well captured in terms of the recovery and built into estimates. Antique uh, has a sell target price 1187, according to them. Volume growth remains a challenge. UBS buy target price 2500. Uh, they believe it's a modest performance. Non-COVID revenue grew by around 14%. Goldman Sachs has said that the reported EBITDA margins was 29 basis points below expectations. Kotak, uh, and like I mentioned, Kotak has also retained their sell. So overall, there's still a cautious stance, which is coming in from most brokerages. But it seems as though on the fringe, there is some amount of positivity because they managed to take a price hike in the month of Feb. They are maintaining margins of 25%. They have indicated that the competitive intensity has reduced a tad bit. Let's listen in to the management who spoke to us earlier this morning. I think for the last couple of years, we've been seeing a very flattish pattern between Q3 and Q4. Uh, Q3 used to be earlier, a weaker quarter, but uh, for the last couple of years, I'm noticing that our uh, Q1, Q3, and Q4 are very similar quarters. So I am really not perturbed about that. But overall, I think Q4, if you look at standalone, our non-COVID growths are fairly okay. And uh, also, one must see that the uh, last two, three years, one has not been able to take a price increase. For the first time, we took price increase in the month of February, which is also a positive news because we didn't see much of resistance coming back from the market. So I think overall, I would say that our ability to take price increase is much better now than what we were seeing earlier. Contribution from uh, bundle packages, uh, our brand name is Swastfit, that has sharply gone up to 22%. That also has contributed to higher revenue per patient. Even though there is a mixed change also we're observing because high-end test portfolio is growing much faster. Uh, there the realizations are much higher. So all that is contributing to higher realization per patient. I think overall, we are very confident of sustaining the growth that we have experienced in the past. Our margin outlook is still in the range of about 24-25%. Uh, we know that suburban is still about 12%. It is a bit dilutive, but it's all baked in, in the FY23 margin. So we continue to hope that FY24 will be very similar to what we have delivered last year.